Hello and thank you so much for joining me for some Saturday Night Crafting. Tonight's video I've got one where I wanted to use up some chunky embossing powders like you know those really glittery really sparkly ones that you might have sitting around in your stash and I was thinking that I can't be the only one that struggles when you've got these gorgeous powders with what to do with them because sometimes having small fine line stamps and chunky cool embossing powders they just don't really go together you kind of lose that sparkle. So I thought, let's do a video where I can give you three different ways that we can use up those embossing powders and really kind of showcase them and make use of them. So my first technique, my first method is going to be to use stencils. So have a look at your stash, see if you've got any stencils that are nice and big and open, not fine and detailed, but nice and big and open. I've got this one from Lisa Horton Crafts. Um, and I'm going to just simply stick it down on top of my piece of cardstock and then take my embossing ink and kind of squish that ink through the stencil so that I'm getting those little dots nice and covered in a thick layer of ink. When I've done that, I can then apply my embossing powder. Now you could always just do one whole entire color. I wanted to use all four colors, so I'm going for like a rainbow effect and I'm just gonna do one at a time. So I tip down my color and then empty it back into the pot and do that with each individual color so I don't kind of mix those colors together. This one's quite a chunky, colorful set. So it's got some metallics in it, it's got some uh, mica powder in it, it's got sort of all sorts in there. And so it's really difficult to work with if you want to use it on anything fine and detailed. It doesn't really show up that well. So for this, it's great. I've used that stencil and now I've got this gorgeous little background. And to heat set anything that's chunky, anything that's got uh, glitters and non-meltable stuff in it, you need to heat from behind. If you heat it from the front, it'll blow all the glitter and sparkles off. You wanna heat it from behind, which is really difficult for me to capture in my video, so I apologize. It's quite close to the screen. And for a lot of the rest of the video, I'm not gonna kind of do this process because it risks melting my camera and also my camera gets angry and then shuts off. <laughs> so it says it overheats. So here it is all finished. I heat it from behind and then I kind of bring my gun round to the front and sort of final heat set the front of it. Now for this card, I knew I wanted to put a big image on the, the back of it and I love this cute little flower set here. So I decided to stamp that in some black embossing ink to kind of make it pop off the background a bit more. And I actually did this process twice so that I could get a really nice, thick, detailed black line in the background. So I've gone ahead and inked it up with my clear embossing ink and then I'm gonna sprinkle over some black powder on the top and then heat set that. I can do that from the front. I don't need to do it from behind because it's not got any glitter in it. But as you can see here, it's nice and fine and detailed, but I wanted it to be a bit more thick. So I went ahead and did it a second time, which is a useful point of having a stamp platform. I could just pop it back in and stamp it again. Now for the second method of using up those powders as a background, we can use embossing folders. So I've chosen some embossing folders that have got quite a large background to them, so they're not super duper fine and detailed. Um, and I've got two different ways that we can apply this ink to get those nice and inked up. The first way is just to go direct to paper. So I'm gonna take my piece of cardstock, and apply my ink right on top of that embossing uh, embossed image. Now it's important if you are going to dab your ink pad on that you make sure that you're lightly tapping it down because you don't wanna fill the crevices too much. I did kind of push too hard on here so I did fill up a lot of the background crevices but I still like how it looks and I like that texture that I've got going on. So obviously this way you get a lot more ink everywhere. You don't get as much definition from the embossing folder but you can still see the embossing folder through all the gorgeous glitter. The second way is to take a brayer and apply the ink that way. So this one's a bit more spread out, this pattern. So I'm gonna take a brayer and just gently run that over the top, make sure I get lots of ink on there. And then you can see with this method, you get a lot more detail with the ink lining up with the image behind it. So here it is all heat set and finished and you've got this gorgeous sparkle and you've got all that embossing powder that you can see all its beautiful detailing in. Now the third method for using up these powders is to use dyes with them. So for this, I'm going to take some cardstock, I'm going to apply my ink direct to paper again and ink up about three quarters of that big piece of cardstock and then I am going to cover the whole panel with the powder and heat set it. Then I've got a nice big background that I can work with with some dyes. So through the magic of videos, here are all four of them done and beautiful and heat set. And now we can go ahead and die cut out of them and create some cards. So for these ones, I decided to have a look through my stash. I thought circles would be fun. And then I had these cool little shape wavy circle things that I'm gonna use and some hearts as well. 
So the first card I did was just simple, three different sized circles, stuck them onto a card, and then added a foiled sentiment from my little foiled sentiment pack from Pink Fresh Studios. For my second card, I used the wavy dies and I popped them up on top of a background that I embossed with another embossing folder, added a sentiment, finished that one off. And then here's the outside of those uh, wavy dies. I decided to glue them down on top of this card base and add another foiled sentiment. And going back to that first one we did, there's the flower card, I added a little sentiment at the bottom, trimmed down the panel a tiny bit. And then I added some Nouveau drops to give it a bit more dimension in the center of the flower and on those little um, petals. And those dots are completely clear once it's dried. I've still got some bits left over to use up on another project, but I love these panels and I can't wait to make them into cards. So I hope you enjoyed this and this has given you some inspiration, maybe to dig out those old embossing patterns that are just sat around that you don't know what to do with, or maybe you've got your eyes on some beautiful new glittery ones that you want to get and you're not sure if you should get them because you don't know what you could do with them. Here's three ideas for you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, take care and I will see you next week. Bye.